In this video, I'll show you how to print pictures from your iPhone or your Android phone on your Canon TR4720. So on the first step, go on your printer and then click on the plier and screwdriver button, this one. Now you're in setup mode. You can now press the OK button. Then on the next menu, you need to click on the right side arrow once until you see manual connect and then press the OK button again. Now it will search for a wireless router, that's your Wi-Fi network. You'll need to select the Wi-Fi network that your iPhone or your Android phone is connected to. You can click on those arrows to find your network and once you're on it, press OK. Then you'll need to press OK again and enter the password of that Wi-Fi network. You can use that touchpad with letters to switch between capital letters and small letters and numbers. Press this tone button and it will switch. After you type the password, you're going to press OK and it will connect. It will take a few seconds. Once it's connected, it will say connected, press OK and Again, press OK. And you're done. Now it's time to download the Canon Print Inkjet Selfie app from the App Store or the Android Play Store if you have an Android phone. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and open it. This page, just press Agree. Then you can press Ask App to Not Track if you don't want to be tracked. It will search for the printer and usually it will find it in a few seconds. You just have to wait. You may have this message asking you to connect to your network, press OK. And then it will add finally your printer to the app. So both will be connected together. Next step is to load some paper in your Canon printer. If you're printing pictures, you better use glossy paper, if not just normal plain paper will do the job. You just need to make sure that those blue tabs here are extended to the max and you just have to push the paper. You'll hear a small beep and this will mean that it's loaded. Next step is to lower this small flap over here. This is where the pictures will get printed. From this menu, you're gonna click on photo print. And here all the pictures you took on your phone will be displayed. You just have to select one by tapping on it. There'll be a check mark on it and then press add on the top right corner. From this screen, press next. And then you'll have displayed over here the paper size and what kind of paper uh, it will be used to print. If it's the correct size you want to print, 4 by 6 you don't want a full page. And if your paper is glossy, then press yes. If not, press no and you'll be able to change those settings by pressing on print settings and here you can change how many copies what kind of paper size do you have you see uh, over here sorry it's a bit out of focus but you can see that you can choose between glossy or plain paper and other settings once you exit it will just confirm with you that these are the settings you want if this is right, you're going to press yes. It brings you to this screen, you just have to go back to the app. And then when you're ready, you're going to press print over there. Depending how big is your picture, depending what kind of paper you're using, it can take a few seconds to even a minute or two to print a, a picture. Here I just selected a 4 by 6 it's a small picture and you'll see it's uh, going to get printed quite quickly. The colors are not the best if you're using plain paper, as you can see here. It looks faded. I'll just show you in a few seconds how it looks on a glossy paper, just so you can feel the difference. You see, this is what went out. It, it just feels that there's a lack of contrast. I don't know if it's my printer or um, the paper I'm using, but yeah, let me just show you with glossy paper how it looks. So let me load the glossy paper. Always use it facing down, with the gloss part facing down, never up. Like this, push it. 
I have changed the settings so it's a full page that will get printed and it's also glossy paper. I'll go ahead and press print and this will take a lot more time than the other one so I'll speed up the video. So this is how the final print looks on glossy paper, it looks sharp and also the colors are more vibrant. If this tutorial was useful, please leave a like, also a comment down below, check the affiliate Amazon links in the description and I'll see you in the next one.